Hi everybody, Beloved911 here, and welcome to my first tutorial for RPG Maker XP, also known as RMXP. So first thing you need to know about events. You need to be in your event layer to add one, or even edit one. If you double click on any square, it'll bring open a new event page. You can name your event, which isn't necessary unless you need to track it or reference it in another event. You can add new pages. Different pages will replace each other. You can copy the page, paste the page, delete the page entirely, or clear the page of any changes you've made to it. Here under conditions, this will add triggers to your uh, event. Different triggers will need to be switched on in order for your commands to work. Here under graphics, you're able to change what your event looks like if you need a picture for it at all. Here under options, move animation allows your animation to move around. If you have a text and you go up to your event, you hit the action button. Let's say you're on the side of it, it'll turn sideways. If you have move animation off, it won't move at all. Stop animation will make your uh, graphic read across. So it reads this way. And it cycles through. So this would be this character walking forward in place. Direction fix would not allow it to change direction at all. So it would still be able to move, but it would always be facing forward, or to the side, or backward, depending on how you have it set. Through lets your, uh, your event move through solid objects. That can be very handy for, uh, let's say, step switches, what your character would step on, so you have to be able to move over it. Always on top would make your event uh, be above you. So let's say your event is a bird and you have it flying around. Well, you have to have it on top of you or else it would look like the bird's crawling on the ground. Right here in autonomous movement, the different types are fixed, random, approach, and custom. Fixed is the event staying in place. Random makes it randomly move around the map within its boundaries. Approach would make the event move toward you. And custom lets you make a custom move route for it. Here in speed, this changes how fast your uh, event moves if it does have a move route. Uh, frequency is how often it moves. The lowest would be inchworm speed, and the highest is never-ending movement. Uh, right here in triggers, action button means you have to go up to your event and press the action button, which by default is the spacebar and the enter key. And that would make your event command uh, trigger. Player touch is when you move up to it. Uh, event touch is if it moves into you. Parallel process is automatic movement or automatic event command. And auto run is also automatic, but it takes all control away from the player. A lot of people say that this is worthless, don't use it, but that's not true. It's great for cutscenes where you don't want the player to be able to move or skip any text. So that's the basics of events. I'll make a, a an event command tutorial for each of the uh, commands. So look for those videos, and I'll see you then.